Okay, in this video, we will look at how to extract a matrix from a data file. Okay, this is the data file I have. It's called matrix.csv. If I open it, I have the following headers. This is matrix A. It's a 7x7 seven seven matrix. Okay, and then we have matrix B, another 7x7 seven seven matrix, and then a vector. Okay, it's a 7x1 uh, column vector. Okay, let's see how to read this in python so we go to spider our editor and then we make sure that we are in the same folder so copy the address from here and then paste it over here press enter so now you are in the same directory your current wor working directory is the same as the one with the data file okay so now we import pandas as pd and then our data we can just easily read it as pd dot read csv and the file name is matrix dot csv okay let's run this and we see we have our data uh, data frame over here okay and you can see it contains the matrix a and then all the way up to vector c okay now we want to split it up based on what we know we know matrix A is 7 by 7, so we can say matrix A is equal to data. And then we use the I location, index location uh, method to find or to slice up the data into like sections. So the first section matrix A is from 0 to 7th row, comma 0 to 7th column. Okay, so let's run this, then check. So matrix A and then you can see over here it starts from this column all the way to this number. So let's verify if this is the last number in matrix A. So you can open the file again. Okay and here matrix A and you can see the last column is this one 0 0.823 and that's what we have here. So this is correct okay now let's do the same for matrix uh, b b equal to data dot i location matrix b is in the same row so 0 to 7th row but the column starts from 7th till 14th okay so let's run this matrix b Okay, we have matrix D as well. And then finally, vector C. Vector C is the final location, which is again 0 to 7th column, uh, sorry, row, but the column is column number 14. Okay, let's run this. And vector C. And you have the vector C over here. We can check the data. Yep, uh, 0.323s. Yes. Okay, so that works. Um, but you will see s uh, that this is not a matrix data type. It's a data frame. So yeah, since it's a data frame, it won't work as you expect it to. So you try to do matrix A multiplied by matrix B, you'll get the following result. So it doesn't work exactly the way you want it. So you have to first convert all these to matrices, actual matrices. So let's import NumPy for that. NumPy as NP. Okay, NumPy is the package that's uh, made to deal with this matrix multiplication. And then you can say matrix A is equal to NP dot matrix uh, matrix a what this command does is it converts matrix a into a numpy matrix and then stores it back into the same uh, variable okay so if i run this command you will see the type over here will change so right click run now we need to define numpy run this and there you go matrix is now an array of float so array of float is a ma is a matrix okay so matrix a okay and you can tell it's a matrix it's written here it also has a double uh, 
it's a list within lists. Okay, let's do the same for the others. So we have matrix B equal to, let me just copy this. Vector C. Okay. Now we can see that it's a matrix, and you should be able to do all the matrix operations now. Okay. Um, there is another way to go about this as well. We could have um, we could have just converted the entire pandas uh, data frame to matrix. So. Now the method is to read the file, okay, and then say data equal to np dot matrix data, okay. See what this does. So we have our data, and then we convert data to a matrix. So now it's a giant matrix of the entire data set. And then you could have said um, matrix A equal to data. And then you do the indexing again, but from, a, from the matrix. So 0 to 7, 0 to 7. Okay, so now we have, we're basically slicing the data matrix. So we can call this as the data matrix. Okay, we're slicing the data matrix based on what we know. Okay, so there's another way to do the same as well. Okay, I hope this helps.